in the 18th century, people began to be able to store electricity. They could produce it in the form of static electricity. People were thinking about actually using a, a very primitive form of electroshock therapy. So these electricians, when you, when you could generate it, they would travel around the countryside, you know, itinerant uh, electricians. Uh, so two particularly significant figures, John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, and uh, Marat, the French Revolutionary, were both itinerant electricians in the UK in the 18th century, wandering around. Somebody say, I'm feeling really miserable and terrible, and he'd say, well, just hold on to this, and then they'd wind it up and bang, you'd get an electric shock. And it became in increasingly complex as people were able to actually store electricity through something called a Leiden jar. You'd actually put it into a, generate this electricity and it would then stay. But it, what happened, it was then suddenly discharged if you touched it, like touching a, a cow fence. So uh, one French uh, French scientist did an experiment with this. He got, he got uh, 400 monks, which is, uh, they're all holding hands. And at one end, he got one of these big jars full of electricity and he made the monk touch it. And then he watched as the, they all jumped up as it, the, the charge zipped down this line of, of monks. So scientists knew that electricity was doing something, but that didn't mean to say that it was how bodies worked. <laughs>